I'm John and I'm Treasurer at Swartz and Sailability, which is based in South Derbyshire. The club's been here for about 50 years and Sailability started about 15 years ago and at the time one of our members had just been diagnosed with MS and it was a way to keep him sailing. To establish a Sailability facility we, we obviously needed to adapt the club for uh, disabled people, ramps, toilets and that sort of thing and probably one of the most important pieces was to get a jetty that was suitable and we were fortunate in that one of our members was uh, actually the MD of BOT at the time and he designed um, the jetty that we stood on with club members helping in the factory and doing the construction BOT built the pieces, a jigsaw puzzle if you like, to Graham's design and uh, we've managed to build the jetty that we've got. You'll notice that the jetty is a lot wider than a normal jetty. We've got handrails and so it's safe for wheelchairs to come onto the jetty and to be left on the jetty. Um, it's also wide enough and stable enough that we're able to put hoists. Um, a lot of our sailors require hoisting into boats. Our involvement with this club started through my father when he moved to a village very close to here and joined this sailing club. Uh, having first started by providing two, I think, of the original six boats, uh, supported by other local rotary clubs, we were also able to produce for them a special pontoon. And I guess it's a mark of, of how far this sailing club has come that we were approached last year about extending that pontoon because there simply wasn't enough room to land all the sailors that they needed to do at the end of each event. So uh, it was a no-brainer for us. Uh, we've always been very strong in supporting the communities around where we're based. We see it as a very important part of what we do as a business and to build an extra three modules onto their pontoon was just a very easy uh, request to say yes to. Three, two, one, oh. I've been involved with sailability for about 15 years. It's about independence. You can come and you can get in the boat and the boats are modified and you use the wind as, every, as just like anybody else, any other sailor. So in effect, it's taking your disability away and that's magical. And for a lot of the homes that come, this might be the only place they come all week. And it's just wonderful to get out and get some fresh air and really feel really integrated and part of the community, respected as a sailor and not looked at for your disability. It means everything to them. They're severely disabled, so the majority of them are confined to wheelchairs. None of them can barely take their weight on their feet. A lot of them spend time, in, most of their days, in bed. So to get out, and put them into a boat where they don't need their legs, they don't need their arms, uh, they can just enjoy the sail. If, if they can contribute with, with any movement that they've got, we've got specific in, uh, equipment here that enables them to take control, to assist in the sailing. And we as crew members can just help them along the way. And when they're on the water, they, they're just in heaven. They don't need their legs and they're just equal to everybody else. They're in control, they can make things happen and they're just in a different world. It's fantastic.